what's up everybody my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. So just like in last week's video when I said that I went in to after the end with like no expectations I didn't even know what to think the exact same thing happened here I do remember like reading about These Broken Stars like a long time ago like seeing it at the library and I just kind of like wrote it off because if you've never seen this book I mean obviously you just did because I just put it up on the screen but like it looks super YA romancy. I mean, it's called These Broken Stars. It's got those like two people like reaching for each other and like it, the premise is kind of like a Romeo and Juliet kind of situation. But let me tell you, I was so incredibly blown away by this book and I don't even know why I was so blown away because I, like it's by Amy Kaufman. Like she like co-wrote Illuminae and like the, uh, you guys know, Illuminae is like one of my favorite series like of all time, so I should have known that it was gonna be amazing, but no, I was just like, oh, this is gonna just be some lame little romance. Well, I was wrong. For those of you who don't know, These Broken Stars takes place in the future, and I, you don't really know like exactly what's going on in this future, but that's not really what's important. What's important is that in this future, like there's faster than like travel and like hover technology, and like they've been terraforming planets, and there's like, unrest when they t come and terraform and there's this like big corporation like called LaRue Industries and they're the ones that come in and terraform all these places and they have like this little lambda symbol and that's really what it matters because in this story we start off on this big like ship that's like cruising through the galaxy or whatever like I don't know where they're going but they're in faster than light travel and it's called the Icarus and that's where we meet our two main characters Lilac LaRue and Tarver Marinson. Now, they come from very different worlds. It is a very, you know, Romeo and Juliet, Titanic kind of love story because obviously Lilac is this heiress to this great big company and Tarver is like, he is a major in the military. He has gone through a lot of rough stuff. He comes from really humble beginnings and he's really had to claw his way up to the top. And when something happens and this ship crashes, they are the only two survivors and they have to go through this entire journey, like trying to stay alive, trying to get off of this planet that they've crashed on, but there's some weird stuff going on because there's these things and they keep seeing these visions and they keep hearing things that aren't there and it is so so amazing. I mean it's not anything revolutionary like what it turns out to be or any of that stuff, but the way that it's told makes the story just really like hit you because we get the story alternating between Tarver's perspective and Lilac's perspective and in between we have this interview going on between Tarver and this unknown person so it is known right off the bat that at least Tarver survives and he's being questioned about what has been going on on this planet and that was kind of an interesting twist to it because it always led you to go like okay well what's going on with Lilac what exactly happens to her and I love that we get both of these perspectives because again I truly do believe now that young adult romances need to be told from two perspectives that we need both of them because it builds up both characters because while at times the characters still do fall a little bit flat they get so much more depth by both becoming the narrator at some point and it really makes you feel for them all the way up like through out their entire journey and as they grow closer together and yeah overall like i absolutely love the way this book was written i love like the whole like sci-fi aspect of it i love that they were like stranded on this planet together and how like we got to see their relationship grow and i really don't have any negative points to this book i loved it absolutely from start to finish i was completely immersed in it and i am like in this state where i need more books like right now but they don't have the rest of them available at my library and they're also not about tarver and lilac so i don't know what i'm gonna do with myself but considering how great this book was, I know that those have got to be great as well. So I am really, really looking forward to that. As I said, I don't really have any negative points. So this definitely gets an A plus for me. And I totally think that all of you guys need to check it out. My faith has really been restored in these young adult books now because at the beginning of the year, I read so many that just were not great at all and I was starting to get like really discouraged that like my library wasn't getting any new books anymore but now that I've just like blindly chosen these past couple of books it just makes me really happy like that's the real lesson here go in with low expectations and you're gonna come out happy because it's either you know gonna suck and you'll be right or you'll be pleasantly surprised and I think that's what we have discovered here but as always if you want to check out this book I will leave a link to the author's website down in the description but as always thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to hit 
that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every Monday. That's everything I got for you today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!